Hello and welcome back to the Popcorn FX channel to part 2 of the ribbon tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to create a simple circular HUD using ribbons and the spawner evolver. So we just created a layer and we'll remove the initial velocity of the particles in it. And after that, we're going to set the spawn count mode to total particle count and the layer duration to 0. And finally set the spawn count to 1. So this will spawn only one particle and it will spawn immediately. And after this, we'll add an Evolver Spawner. Set the Spawn Metric to Time. And since the Mother Particle has a life duration of 1, and the Spawn Interval in the Child is 0.1, it's going to spawn 10 particles in the trail. We don't need the particles to move, so we'll remove the Velocity in the Spawner script. And set the life of the Children Particles to Infinity. And now, when they spawn, they won't die. Let's add the ribbon renderer and delete the billboard renderer. Now we need the particles to form a circle around the parent particle. To do so, we'll need the life ratio of the mother particle and we use the spawner.life ratio to get it. Here we go. There's an error because we need to add the variable to the fields. Then we'll create a variable t to be able to define the positions of the particles. Then we're going to use this variable in another function that will create a circle. Here we go, the function is the float3 with the sign t, 0 cosine t. So it's always better to use a float3 sfu or a float3 suf, since we'll always keep the same orientation no matter what the project settings are. So here, I should have used the float3 suf and it would have been the same, yet better, because it would maintain the same results in an Unreal project or any other project. So note to self, always use float3 suf or sfu. We'll notice something, it's that there's a weird gap in the circle. To fix it, we'll go to the Evolver Spawner and set the first spawn delay to zero. There we go, no more gaps. And if you want to add more definition to the circle, we'll just need to decrease the spawn interval to 0.02. This way we have a nice smooth circle. We also notice some weird artifacts from certain view angles. That's due to the axis orientation. Luckily in Popcorn, we can have control over that. Click on the ribbon and change the billboard mode to normal axis align. The moment we do that, it'll give us an error, because we need to fill the axis field. We'll write down axis in the axis field, copy that and paste it in the fields as a float3 variable. The particles are going to disappear, because the normal axis they have now is set to zero. We're going to set the normal side up, and since this is a unity project, we'll set the axis to 0, 1, 0. Or we can use something better to work with any project, and that's scene.axis up. And this is how you control the axis of a ribbon. Let's give this a texture and pick the atlas that goes with it. Voila! There's also something cool that we can do. We can stretch this texture on the whole circle. And we'll do that by setting the texture U field to the spawner.life ratio. So in the texture U field, we write down SLR and press enter. And we get this cool looking sci-fi circle. We can also change the texture ID of this and test out other textures. Let's give it a try. We'll go to the spawner script and set the texture ID to 3. Restart the particle system. And if we remove the SLR from the texture U field and press enter, we'll have a whole different feeling to it. I'll change the texture ID to 2. I just love how dynamic popcorn FX is. And if you want to change the axis of this, we can set it to 101. But we'll notice an artifact. And the way to fix this is to normalize the position and set it to the axis. And there you go, it looks perfect. And we'll do one more thing. We're going to change the normal directions by editing the Y in the axis. 
So we'll create a normalized temp variable from the position as float3. And instead of keeping the y at 0, we're going to set a variable angle to it. Then set the temp position to the axis variable. Lovely. And finally, to make things more dynamic, we can add an attribute effect. Name it axis angle and set it to the angle variable. Change the value, reset the particle system, and enjoy. Well, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. Give us a like if you found it helpful, and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the part 3 of the Trails tutorial. See you then, and thank you for watching.